In this video, I am going to talk about 10 uh, very lucrative career options uh, in uh, statistics. The first one I will be talking about is uh, by being a statistician. Uh, qualified uh, professionals in statistics find employment uh, in public sector as, as a statistician. Uh, so government employ these people uh, as uh, you know statistical researcher in the central statistical uh, organizations within the government uh, people uh, also find employment in central banks as statistical researcher they also find um, employment uh, in government think tanks so they uh, hold a very important uh, positions uh, in the government um, as, as a bureaucrat then uh, statisticians in private companies uh, most big companies you name them whether it's uh, general electric whether it's tata group uh, or you know walmart uh, most of them employees uh, they employ uh, statisticians who uh, work very closely with the senior management so these people are uh, you know who are very qualified ones um, you know they do uh, they conduct surveys they uh, analyze data from um, the finance department from the sales department and they, they you know write report about this data and help the senior management in taking uh, you know uh, very good decisions so they are also very important uh, people in the organizations and these jobs are considered to be very uh, lucrative in that sense and then quants quants are the people uh, who work uh, with the financial service industry be it uh, investment uh, uh, banking or hedge fund um, people in this industry uh, people in this profession are very highly paid uh, and this is considered one of the highest paid profession in the banking industry so people with PhD in statistics PhD in mathematics and PhD in physics uh, with uh, you know good programming skills um, and you know having good understanding of financial products they help uh, you know uh, these banks uh, you know price the financial products properly and which which is then used for investment purpose so this is one of the most lucrative profession uh, in the banking and financial service and one who, who has a uh, really good quantitative background um, uh, should be able to find uh, these lucrative jobs uh, in Wall Street or in any of the financial capitals in the world. Then comes uh, data scientists. Uh, well, this is uh, a fairly new uh, profession as compared to the other professions uh, I have uh, talked so far. Um, so, and this is also known as the sexiest profession uh, of 21st century. Uh, um, and you know uh, data scientists are people who you know work with uh, work with uh, data uh, and make sense of data and it is uh, it is fairly new in the sense that it's very difficult to define who uh, is actually known as a data scientist but people with uh, uh, you know combination of skills with programming uh, and data analysis and uh, have skills uh, of you know analyzing very large volume of data are known as uh, are known to be uh, the data scientists um, there's a huge demand for this profession because of uh, you know lack of uh, because of uh, demand and supply mismatch uh, and it's considered to be very lucrative uh, because uh, you know finding skilled data scientist is very uh, difficult task for most employers actuaries now this is a very traditional profession this has been there uh, for over 100 years now uh, these people mainly work in the insurance industry for pricing insurance products and also uh, you know managing financial risk uh, so one should be a qualified uh, professional from the actual societies most countries have their uh, own actual societies like in uh, uk they have got uh, actual society of uk uh, similarly you have actual society of India so you write actual uh, these papers and uh, after a certain number of papers you, you were uh, 
uh, uh, you know, you are given a status of qualified actuary. So you work with most insurance banking industry uh, in, you know, uh, pricing the insurance products. Uh, the pay is really, really high uh, and is, is very uh, stress-free job. In fact, that's one of the reasons why in most uh, surveys uh, in the employment industry, actuaries uh, rank very high among, uh, you know, the best jobs. Uh, so this is one of the most lucrative jobs uh, for statisticians. Quantitative analysts. So these are people who work with banks and these jobs are very similar to uh, the quants but uh, quants uh, mostly use uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, you know uh, models uh, which are used for pricing financial products um, and they work in the investment side uh, but there are uh, some sides of uh, uh, you know uh, analysis that is uh, that uses uh, you know uh, statistical models for risk management purposes. So these are known as statistic. Uh, uh, these are known as quantitative analysts, which who work in the banks and hedge funds and insurance companies in building statistical models, doing model validations and doing model audit. Um, they are in great demand nowadays because uh, because of the new regulations, whether it uh, the comprehensive uh, capital assessment and review CCAR or with this uh, Dodd Frank uh, re uh, regulations, whether it's ILAP or I ICAP uh, regulations or whether it's uh, the new IFRS 9 regulation. Because of this new financial regulation which has come into uh, you know picture uh, more recently, uh, people with uh, people who are quantitative analysts. Uh, are in high demand uh, nowadays uh, and most banks are hiring in big numbers in almost all markets in the world whether it's US, UK, uh, in India. Um, so these, these people work uh, in the back offices of the banks. Then uh, economists. Now this is a very traditional profession uh, has been there in the world you know I don't know how many uh, centuries now. Uh, so people with uh, interest in uh, uh, you know data analysis uh, for the macroeconomics um, or the uh, you know the behavior of consumers, um, they find employment in different corporates, uh, government or central banks as economists, uh, and this is considered to be uh, very lucrative uh, from you know from two aspects. Uh, firstly. Uh, they are highly paid. That's one one thing. The other one is uh, economists work with uh, very senior people uh, or head of the government. Whether it, if they're working with the government, they work with the head of the government. If they're working with the central bank, they they work very close to the um, uh, with close to the very uh, you know high profile people in the government. In fact, most uh, central bankers. Uh, are uh, economists by professions. So people with uh, you know interest in statistics and economics can be uh, employed or can uh, find jobs as economists in, in these lucrative areas. They can also work as a consulting economist. So there are many consulting organizations uh, um, who, who employ this uh, you know economists uh, whether it's Ernst and Young whether it's McKinsey or you know is any of these consulting company uh, they can also have their own consulting firm uh, and you know uh, do consulting services as a statistician or as an economist sports statisticians uh, you know uh, so sports statistic has been there for a while now but more recently because of the digital data uh, uh, you know, most of these, um, you know, clubs or national teams or uh, media companies who uh, broadcast, uh, you know, matches in, in soccer, in cricket, uh, baseball, uh, they analyze data uh, from, uh, you know, the player data uh, or match data, uh, opponents data, in order to find, you know, pattern in terms of, uh, in terms of in uh, you know the fine data uh, pattern in the data and they use that uh, you know knowledge of the pattern that they find from this data uh, while uh, you know uh, you know hiring a player uh, or maybe selecting a team for a particular game or you know in fact even uh, the uh, strategy they are you know making uh, for a uh, for a particular opponent and you might have seen uh, uh, movies uh, made in this particular area. Uh, Moneyball is one of them, uh, where Brad Pitt uh, 
you know was uh, the lead character over there um so so it's a very lucrative profession uh, the main reason is because you know you you uh, help the national team win something so if you can help them you know winning a championship you actually are at the center of it uh, you, you 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 also enjoy a lot of attention from uh, many people and it's uh, very lucrative in terms of uh, the salary um, that is being paid to these people and it requires very specialized skills unlike other professions that i've talked so far because the numbers of number of people who are employed in these areas are very less so one has to be really uh, good good at it and has to be specialist in these areas biostatisticians these are people who are employed by the pharma industry they have been there you know since a very long time now they perform clinical trials and you know provide uh, information uh, information um, about the drugs uh, and uh, they ensure that the drug uh, which has been invented by the companies are working fine and then they are not uh, producing any wrong results one of the reason why these this you know particular uh, area is lucrative is because healthcare industry itself is very lucrative right uh, most people in the healthcare industry are highly paid uh, as well as very well respected and being uh, somebody in this particular in in this uh, industry you you actually enjoy uh, that kind of uh, things operation research professionals uh, so operation research itself is a field separate field but uh, it has branched out from statistics uh, many people say that though uh, um, they work with uh, the military organizations uh, in in terms of having a military strategy so these professions um, you know uh, was given importance uh, in the uh, second world war and and uh, after that uh, you know or people operation research professionals have been a great uh, are of great help in most uh, military uh, actions uh, they are also being used in aviation and shipping industry uh, because they work primarily uh, in optimizing things and planning things. In the industry also they are in great demand, especially the manufacturing and supply chain industry, they employ uh, the operational research professionals. So statisticians or somebody with uh, you know, good knowledge of statistical theory and uh, optimization um, uh, you know knowledge of optimization mathematical optimization can find employment uh, in this particular area data journalist now this is a fairly new uh, profession uh, maybe you know 10 15 years ago you wouldn't have heard about uh, uh, you know what a data journalist is um, this profession has been popularized popularized uh, by someone known as Nate Silver who uh, is the founder of 538 um, so what he does is he he, he analyzes data uh, you know uh, he analyzes data and then write a story about it uh, so you know earlier days uh, what used to happen is that uh, people uh, people in the media uh, or journalists used to write stories without uh, you know analyzing the data related to the story but uh, Nate Silber what he has done is that he has uh, you know use the data analysis along with the journalism and uh, combine them uh, calling himself as a data journalist now he uh, is, is very uh, he's, uh, he's a specialist in analyzing election data in fact he has uh, um, you know very accurately predicted uh, some of the uh, uh, elections that happened in United States and has therefore been you know very popular uh, in US and is considered to be a star statistician of this century uh, he's also very popular for you know analyzing the baseball uh, he's also a sports statistician by the way so uh, nowadays almost all media organization whether it's uh, print media whether it's uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, whether it's the uh, you know the new channels and all uh, most of these uh, media houses are running after uh, the data journalists so people with uh, you know both the skills you know statistical skills uh, and you know people who can actually write well they're in great demand and it's also a very high uh, sought after profession thank you